So what's up mofos? Brought the Hawk in. I've had multiple requests to troubleshoot the gas gauge. I'll break out my old dash panel too just so I can show you that. I'm going to pull my gas tank, my seat, all that off. I'm going to give you some readings. I have a pretty cool tool that you might want. Power probe. I always use a meter. A meter is good. This does a little bit more than what a meter can do in some cases. But I'm going to be using this to troubleshoot this. I'll give links for that if anybody's interested. They're not that much money. If you do any kind of mechanics work, it's a great tool. Let's get this son bitch torn apart. I haven't been putting my bolts in the seat, which is a good thing and a bad thing because if you wreck, your seat's going to go flying. <laughs> 10 millimeter. Be sure to turn the fuel off. Screwdriver. Oh. Didn't break it. Nope. Didn't break any tabs either. Must have popped out. And that was already popped out. Fuel line. Gauge line that's the first place I would check is that connection of course oh look at that vibrate it off well, that's common <coughs> check these that one's loose too a lot of times when you hear the motor doing a lot of vibrating, it means that the motor mounts are loosening up. Because it does happen. Good time to go over all the bolts. <clears throat> Alright, the gas gauge circuit is pretty simple. When you turn the key on, now there's no gas because it's an open circuit. You see? Inside the gas tank has a little rheostat. What that does is it provides resistance. We're going to figure out what the actual resistance is. Probably goes from 0 to 50 ohms or so. Let's see. I'm going to use an external battery here. Only because my battery is pretty shot. Comes with a nice long cord that you can have knot up on you. It's got a nice little light. And then you can go through modes. Okay. And you want positive voltage. With nothing on it, if you push it up, it puts 12 volts through the circuit. If you push it down, it grounds it. But we don't want that mode. We want positive mode. And then we're going to test. See the little positive there? I use an old little rivet green wire you put the ground and then you get 4.9 volts it's got 4.9 volts power running through that which has to go through that rheostat for it to raise up this fuel gauge so if you got voltage across these two that means it sent the connection from the battery and through the switch through the gauge and then back to the tank sensor is working. With the digital gauge it's going to be a little different than with the mechanical gauge that came with it. When you short across it you're going to have to turn the power off and turn it back on and then it should read full. Well, I guess every minute it checks to see what the fuel level is so it doesn't bounce all over the place but that's a pretty slow polling. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get my old fuel gauge. Alright this is stock gauge cluster I got with when I bought the bike which I put almost 1900 miles on to the back these wires which is the white the green and the black these are going to the actual gauge so let's see if we can get in here and unplug this and plug in my old one so we're going to unplug my digital of course it doesn't want to go let's see this one yeah, if you push these too hard, you'll definitely push the pins back out. There we go. That was it. 
that one was over to the side and if you push them out you can look here and see they all have to be the same so I don't forget what I was saying oh look at that that's loose vibration vibration that's definitely loose. That one's a little loose too. <laughs> They're all loose. These things vibrate like a mofo. One major improvement that they could do is put a counterbalance engine in this thing. Anyway, so now we're plugged in. I'm going to turn the key on. It's a neutral. Let's see what we have here. Clear it with that. All right, that's 3.5 volts. So it's kind of, I guess it's kind of the same. So let's short that out. There we go. That's what I'm used to seeing. See that? All right. That's a full tank. That means that float is all the way up, which means no resistance or hardly any resistance when that float is lifted by the gas in a gas tank. If you want to follow these wires back, black, green, and it looks like white with yellow. Black, white with yellow, and green. So now I'm going to probe from here to see what we have to see which one actually sends the power. I'm going to clear this. The yellow wire has nothing. The black wire has 11.3 volts. The green wire has no voltage. The, I have a low battery. That's why. Now that the jumper's off, there's zero volts at the green wire. 11.4 which should be 12 volts at the black wire and the yellow wire has 3.6 volts let's put that jumper in one more time full tank of gas green has nothing the green to ground on the black 11.3 white with yellow has nothing shorted to zero. I pop that off. Goes up to 3.6. All these green wires are ground. You got a ground. Black is power. Yellow is the sending one. Which is 3.6 because it's coming back from here now. Got that. This does have a continuity mode. Now we're doing continuity. That's zero ohms. I got a pretty full tank. Well, I got a pretty full tank, so that could be correct. I guess the only way to do this is to drain that tank. Draining the gas. It's going to take a while. Oh, while we're here, that's another issue. See how this gas is flowing? There's a vent that's built in this cap. And if that vent goes bad, not going to get the flow. The gas tank has all the fuel out of it. Just set this on ohms. This power probe won't do it. It doesn't read low enough ohms. It'll only do between a certain range. So with an empty tank, which it's at right now, it's a hundred ohms empty. nine point five ohms full there's your sending unit then we'll try to go back down see it going down empty full that's how you know the rheostat's working the resistance varies as it uses gas and it goes through it's all it's only a big resistor it's all variable resistor so that's that. Anything else you guys want me to do? If I get enough questions, I'll make a video for you. Let me know.
I got a bunch of broken spokes on that. That's going to be something coming up. But she's still running strong. It's been like three years. Still a good bike. I'd still buy one. I still recommend it. Nice and easy to work on. That's right. See if my gas gauge still works. What? It doesn't. No way. What the hell did I do? I don't. For real. <laughs> the hell did I do? Oh, there it is. <laughs> my connection. Well, there you have it. When I connected it up, it wasn't locked in good. Maybe that's you guys' problems, too. That's right. Look what Blade's belt buckle did. Look at it!